हेलो रिवा वेलकम अगेन टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल कैसे हैं आप सब आई होप यू ऑल डूइंग रियली गुड सो रिएक्शन करने वाली हूँ मैं आई हेट लूजिंग विराट कोहली का एक इंटरव्यू और देखते हैं अभी रिसेंटली वो हारे हैं एक सीरीज अगेंस्ट न्यूजीलैंड सो देखते हैं विराट कोहली वैसे एवरी वन लूजिंग बट वाट विराट कोहली हाज से अबाउट इट सो सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो यू कैन फॉलो मेर इंस्टाग्राम और इस वीडियो के डिस्क्रिप्शन में एक और चैनल का लिंक दे रही हूँ वहाँ पर भी अब मैं रिएक्शन वीडियोस अपलोड करूँगी सो वहाँ पर आपके सजेशन ज़्यादा अपलोड होंगे सो वहाँ पर जाकर जरूर सब्सक्राइब करना जल्दी से लिंक देखें डिस्क्रिप्शन में हो सकता है आपको कोई वीडियो ऐसी उसमें मिल जाए जो आप देखना चाह रहे हो रिएक्शन जिस पर सो उस पर भी अब रिएक्शन आएंगे रेगुलरली सो काइंडली सपोर्ट आई नीड योर सपोर्ट देयर एंड हेयर सो जल्दी से सब्सक्राइब लाइक शेयर कर दें एंड लेट्स प्ले दिस वन देखते हैं कि क्या है इस इंटरव्यू में विराट कोहली का क्या कहना है सो लेट्स प्ले दिस I was a very energetic kid, पहले से ही. So I had the ability to, I guess, you know, if I if I enjoyed doing something, I I could you know keep going on. I would I would be really energetic and you know keep playing all day and so on and so forth. But um, once again, so I had that in me. I had that you know uh, natural energy in me. But I probably didn't have the drive or the the vision, the focus to channelize that energy well. um obviously when your habits are not great um you know when you when you're young you're not that disciplined you you're partying you're you're not taking care of your rest um um you know you have a few drinks as well your system's not responding the way it should be for a sportsman and i think it has to be um a thing that comes from within it can't be taught to you it can't be explained from the outside so luckily that that you know that that thing came to me itself that you need to get your act right if you want to be a successful international cricketer because and if you continue he's like this you're just going to be one cricketer in the world player who played for a, a, a few years and then disappeared because he wasn't disciplined enough or didn't maximize his potential so i thought okay i love batting um i'm working hard at cricket but how can i improve how can i get better what can i add to my game and then the whole fitness thing you know struck me and it came to me and actually i'm grateful for the fact that the the game also moved simultaneously so i started working on myself in 2012 midway after the ipl 2012 about 2013 man. is the time that i became too lean um 2014 i continued like that then 2015 onwards mr shankar basu who was uh, the Sare indian saal yaad rakhe hain maine as well he introduced me to um, olympic lifting and you know uh, speed strength and power endurance and these kind of things and i had never experienced that before mm. any because i trusted him he had worked for, with me for 8 years he said trust me just give this a go and you will see wonders happening with your body i said okay i trusted him i did this for you know 3 weeks and my body just responded in a way that i never felt like you know myself ever again like the the slower self I felt like someone had just uh, you know put high octane fuel in my body and I was just flying and from then on it became an obsession I was like I'm feeling quicker fitness se itna fark padta hai aapki personality mein aapki mental health pe bhi while catching I am able to field longer periods for the whole day so I am able to contribute for my team five times more than I was before so why should I stop it hmm. and if I'm leading and if I want my teammates to you know put in effort I should be there all day doing that first you know before asking someone else to do it so everything came together so wonderfully so ye motivation bhi ho sakti hai bahut se youngsters ke liye change the boost through Mr Basu our trainer the whole thing came along so well together and I think 2016 is when I really hit my fitness peak because I want to maintain the standard that I'm playing at now till the time so I finish. So it has been 13 you know, se matlab 3 saal mein wo apne fitness move the way I do right now. They work kiya maine sahi. It's just not in me to play like that. If I can't do that I will stop. So that is my vision you know I want to be able to contribute till the last day I play for India the way I'm doing now with the same energy the same enthusiasm so I will do anything and everything in my ability to achieve that on a daily basis. It's not easy uh, I mean uh, if if you ask me do I get affected by failure Yes I do everyone does I'm human of at course. the end of the day um so it's it's difficult to process uh, failure at such a big stage hmm. but also Jab you have to understand that you know, I, I, I totally believe in the fact that it's then... meant to be for you will happen we play a sport where we feel like we are involved every ball and you are responsible to make something happen so even failure and success you start looking like we failed because of me or 
you know i made success uh, happen so i think somewhere or the other we need to understand that all we can do is work hard and put in our best effort as long as your intent is right your heart is in the right place and you're going along the right path and you're doing things with the with the right intent that's all you can do because no one as you said no one wants to go out there and fail or not succeed or you know have moments like this no one wants to do that no one wants to experience that but for success and failure is a part of everything that we do in life whether it's sport agar whether it's hate nahi hai jo unko fir jeetne ka wo maza nahi aata jeet jeet ke bhi wo you know ek char mata mujhe tha jeetne ka problem in your job anything it is the truth of life mm. and you need to be able to accept both with grace that's that's the thing that i've learned you can't go gung ho when you succeed you can't say oh i'm i'm the king of the world or you know we are when invincible now king, and when you fail totally. <laughs> you can't beat yourself down so much that you can't get up again so i think you need to feel the hurt you need to feel where could i have done things differently i think failure is a great way or a great opportunity to analyze what went wrong and to improve and to on those mistakes because success, at the end of the day after failure is all about that when you make a mistake while batting you want to improve with the next time you walk out to play or if you play a false shot and you haven't got an out you want to improve with the next ball mm-hmm. and similarly for bowlers and fielders you make a mistake you feel really bad about it but then you catch one and then you feel like okay i've corrected my mistake and i think life is all about that it's it's about making mistakes on a regular basis but having the courage and the acceptance and the clarity Itne to say wo, okay uh, i have made a mistake na, i'm not going to be egoistic about it i'm going to lay it down understand what happened improve on it and walk forward because as you said you know people say things people attack you if you start focusing on that you cannot progress because those are opinions those are um, you know things that are happening on the outside um you know what opinion you hold you know the intent you played with and you need to be true to that so the most the biggest challenge i felt was being true to your own beliefs if you focus on things which are only based on success and numbers and results i don't think you can enjoy the process exactly yahi baat maine pehle ki hai enjoy kar liye so well success because we enjoy the process, process. So we enjoy being in difficult situations and coming out on top basically what we are doing on a daily basis is competing with ourselves how good can we be when we are put under pressure it's not about coming up against someone or trying to prove mm-hmm. someone else wrong it's about bringing our own standard don't of cricket higher and higher on a daily basis and setting examples the right examples for the next generation to take over whenever that happens i don't know how to explain it i mean i just hate losing you know i i basically i i hate losing in mm. anything um that is how a sportsman is is made up you know that is the makeup of of any sportsman competing at, at the highest level so that's that's a given no one no one is fine with losing or fine with you know failing you accept it you process it that's different aur sab ka react karne ka bhi tarika alag hota hai the most important thing for me in in you know anything i do on the field is i don't want to walk out and say maybe i could have done this i don't want any maybes i don't want any what ifs When I step out to that field it's a privilege it's an honor for me and when I walk out I want to have zero energy left because that is what I'm supposed to do that is why I'm selected I'm not selected because you know I'm privileged or you know I should be comforted because I've reached the highest level no however hard I've worked for age group cricket this has to be a constant 10 times uh, hard working process on a daily basis because I'm representing my country and there couldn't be a bigger honor for me so i understand the importance of where i've come from and the opportunity i have every time that i step on to the field i don't want to left to uh, leave any stone unturned like you know it's it's such a most motivational interview i yeah. i hate having the feeling of maybe i could have gone for mm-hmm. that catch maybe i could have pushed a, an extra you know yard for an extra run i i just that just i it. somehow just can't process don't so regret bad it is i'm i'm actually always trying to avoid that feeling and that's why i i you know go along about my work in a crazy manner where i just have to put all my effort into every ball that i play field or i'm a part of wow yaar bada maze ka interview tha badi motivational baatein badi informational baatein thi or i hate losing his sadly everyone hates losing 
सो so, इस इंटरव्यू से बहुत से लोगों को मोटिवेशन मिल सकती है कि जैसे मैं कह रही थी कि अगर कोई बीच में कभी हारेगा नहीं अगर क्रिकेट के कॉन्टेक्स्ट में बात करें या जिंदगी के जिंदगी जिंदगी के किसी भी कॉन्टेक्स्ट की बात कीजिए अगर अगर कोई हारेगा नहीं तो वो जीतने की वो एक्साइटमेंट वो खुशी फिर वो कैसे होगी तो अगर जीत भी जीतते जाओ जीतते जाओ वो भी अच्छी चीज़ है बट वो फिर एक जो है ना वो होता है यार हमें तो जीत नहीं है सो so, वो एक एक्साइटमेंट और वो जो चाम जो हारने के बाद और पूरी कोशिश स्ट्रगल के बाद जीत में होता है ना वो ज़्यादा मज़े का होता है सो so, बड़ा अच्छा सा एक इंटरव्यू था ये बड़ी बड़ी मोटिवेशन मिल सकती है बहुत से लोगों को हर फील्ड के लोगों को मिल सकती है क्योंकि चाहे वो क्रिकेट का प्रोफेशन हो या को, कोई सा भी प्रोफेशन हो चीज़ें हार्ड वर्क स्ट्रगल्स ये सब कुछ सब 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 सबकी स्ट्रगल्स जो हैं वो ऑलमोस्ट सेम होती हैं तो जो फिटनेस का उनका था वो 2012-13 से स्टार्ट करके 2016 तक उन्होंने पीक पे किया और अब वो इतने ज़्यादा यू नो फिट तो हैं लेकिन वो आई थिंक मोस्ट फॉलोड है ना पूरी दुनिया में क्रिकेटर और क्रिकेट का जो मुझे लगता है कि इंडिया का इंडिया के अलावा बहुत बड़ा नाम है एक विराट कोहली सो अच्छा इंटरव्यू था सुन के मजा आया सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट वीडियो में तब तक के लिए गुड बाय